This one goes out to the best Bond, Sean Connery, right here. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dupree, aka Dark Hater, here, and um, this one's a little bit of a late video, but I kind of want to let the dust settle. Recently, um, as of uh, October 31st, Halloween Day, uh, the legendary actor Sean Connery passed away. Now, um, Sean Connery uh, is actually one of my top favorite actors of all time. Um, I grew up watching him. I grew up watching his all of his films, not just the Bond films, but all of his all of his bodies of work over you know his whole career uh, up until his retirement. I can definitively say I was introduced to him, um, obviously as Bond, the original James Bond, uh, through my grandfather. I would hang out with my grandparents at their house. My grandpa, um, you know, loved James Bond. Like that was his hero. He, like, out of all the actors, like you know, Sean Connery was his favorite actor. He'd always say, you know, that James Bond. You know, he cold, Jack. He cool. He's he. He's a cool one, he's a smooth one. Like, you know, so that's how we bond. Like we, how we bonded watching Bond. Not not necessarily the Roger Moore, Timmy, Timothy Dalton, or even that one George Lazenby movie, but he loved Sean Connery. You know, Sean Connery's Bond. Um, I think his favorite was Thunderball. I don't normally get like, you know, sentimental, like you know anything or feel like you know real hard emotion towards like you know celebrity celebrity deaths unless you know obviously it was one that kind of like you know affected my childhood like i feel like sean connery passing away is a part of my childhood like you know like leaving right there i watched him as a kid i i looked up to him i looked up to his like you know his legacy's movies large body of work they just don't have actors like that anymore. Like he was probably one of the last of like the true Hollywood movie stars um, from like that gold, late golden era. Besides the Bond movies, I love. Um, what else did I love from him? Um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Like that's probably my favorite Sean Connery movie aside from anything Bond. Um, the Untouchables. That was a really really good one. That, that one he actually won like you know an oscar for um the rock like <laughs> the rock was basically it's it's basically a retired you know older james bond time bandits time time bandits was actually like a, a silly little silly little movie the hunt for red october uh just so many movies from his repertoire you know uh when i got the news um on uh, the 31st like in the morning like i i it wasn't i was super heartbroken and i couldn't believe it like you know the man was 90 years old and he'd been retired since 2003 i didn't take it as hard because he left on his own terms like the man like you know said like you know i'm done with hollywood I'm done with acting i made my money you know i left my legacy like I want to retire, spend time with my family. Retirement is just fun. You know, he, him and his wife um, retired in the Bahamas and that's where he passed away and asleep in the Bahamas. Like, that honestly is, sounds like one of the best ways to go. Like, in paradise in your sleep. But, you know, the man was 90 and, you know, that, like I said, at the end of the day, he went on his own terms. That day I put in Dr. No, uh, GoldenEye, Thunderball, and um, You Only Live Twice. Cause it's hard for me, like, you know, I don't really have a favorite, I, I can't choose between my favorite Sean Connery Bond films. Like those ones are always the obviously the best for me. Um, and it sucks because like, you know, um, you know, it just reminds you of like your mortality. Sean Connery is one of those actors that's, you know, been a staple in Hollywood for so many years. Even if he wasn't really in the public eye, like you knew that that name. It's one of those names that's gonna like live on forever. It makes you start thinking about your mortality 
and everything. Like, not everybody is going to be here. Tomorrow isn't promised today. So, like, you know, you could be here one day and the next and then not the next. And it always it also reminds me, I always tell my friends this, like, if you ever get the chance to meet your heroes, do it. Because you never know, like, you know, if and when they may pass away. And then you'll definitely regret it. I obviously had no chance, you know, to meet um, Sean Connery. It would have been it would have been nice to meet him. It would have been really cool, even for a split second. Yeah, so, um, rest in peace, Sean Connery, the best James Bond. So, uh, I'll be definitely drinking a martini, a vodka martini, shaken, not stirred, in your honor, even though it's supposed to be, uh, shaken. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching this. Um, you know, comment down below, like, what's your favorite um, Sean Connery movie? Actually, no, what's your favorite Bond movie? And then also, what's your favorite Sean Connery movie? Definitely catch you guys in the next one. And even though this isn't a Star Wars video, make the, may the Force be with you. Bye. Bond. James Bond.